This is a video of a Coyote CK2610 hydrostatic. It's uh, brand new, it's a 2018. I set it up with a uh, Titan uh, snow plow or dozer blade they call it. It's a quick detach and it has the hydraulic uh, ram on the front. <clears throat> my old setup was a CK20 CK20 and uh, that had just like a Jeep plow on it and stuff so I wanted to uh, upgrade and stuff and so I bought this Titan I guess it's SP200 obviously and like I say it's got the hydraulic ram on it what I did was <clears throat> ran the hydraulic lines right up here on the front end loader and this is just a quick little uh, tie or whatever just to hold some of the connections but the rest of them are zip tied because what I actually did was I ran the uh, snow plow ram off from my rear remotes um, which ends up just following the original lines I put them in a, another protective sheath and they just run underneath just like the originals and they go right back here to your remotes which when I bought this I had the two remotes installed so I didn't have to mess with it later um, ended up just like color coding them and stuff but it's really easy to figure out all it's going to do is just push or pull the opposite way which I have them set up uh, to run off from this uh, remote and if you push forward on it it I have it so it's set up and it pushes left and if you pull back a little bit you can feather it if you want but um, when you bump it it'll pull it backwards pull the plow to the right um, it works really really nice I just used it for the first time and uh I'll tell you what, this freaking thing will push some snow. The tires are loaded, and obviously it's got a lot more weight behind it than my old tractor. But with that hydraulic ram, you know, I figured it was going to be nice. And I'll tell you what, you can really feather the snow and push, you know, exactly where you want it and stuff like that. The ram is obviously really powerful. You can move a whole load of snow. This is wet snow, too. Um... And you can push the whole, you know, load of snow uh, left or right when you're getting it to where you want it. But um, <clears throat> anyway, I figured I'd do just a quick video just to show, you know, the setup and how you can set it up. I didn't, I didn't put the front remotes on this because I didn't really think I would need them. And like I say, I just had a set of hoses made up which the again the hoses run from all the way on the back of the tractor and the quick um uh, disconnects are right under here and i used a bigger sheath uh to go over you know all the fittings which is just runs up into there but that way there you don't have anything banging on your tractor and stuff like that they're protected and then they're just routed down here which i just for now used a couple zip ties as a trial but you need obviously slack in your front so that when you curl because this thing's actually when the boom when your uh, loader is up you can curl this freaking thing all the way under you but anyway um i just use this just to hold that connector right there which the rest of it is just zip tied uh and it holds holds well and whatnot but i'll start it up real quick and show you just how it operates
so anyway, uh, you get the picture. I just wanted to show that, you know, so other people will realize what you can put on this thing, I guess. And uh, I might actually switch the uh, metal blade on this, the cutting edge, to a polymer uh, polymer setup again because obviously it really digs in to have a paved driveway. So I might just put the other one back on the other polymer one so it kind of floats better and use the rear blade to scrape snow that's packed in and whatnot but this was just a trial run today so anyway well hopefully this will help you figure out what you need to do for yours if you're looking to go this route thanks